Hey guys, what's up? We're back with some more Warframe action and today we're going to have a look at operator fashion, specifically how I have managed to make my operator look like this, as you see here. Uh, this was brought up by a comment in the uh, Commodore Prime video. Someone has asked me how I managed to make my operator look like this, particularly uh, with regards to her face, which is obviously a tricky thing to do. It, there's like a little bit of a balancing act when it comes to face blending, uh, which is something that this game allows, which is awesome. Uh, I might say like this the system for face blending seems to work really really well So it's something to uh, definitely keep an eye on if you want to Customize your operator to look really really good or really really ugly if that's your thing. It's up to you Anyway, let's have a look at how I've managed to make my operator look like this and we'll start off by answering that particular guy's question by looking at the face so my face well her face is uh, created from the face blending of two faces like I said before the primary face is this one right here which is on the last page like the lowest like you scroll down to the bottom it's the sixth or the top left basically once you pick that one that particular face is not available as an option for the secondary face so with the secondary face what I've done is just scroll down what you can do is just scroll down to the bottom and it's this face right here uh, yeah, make sure you are picking the right face because I think in terms of the options it should be the same one. Just, you know, double check. And then face blending, it's really just blending here. You could, I could make her look like this and uh, have, a, have a different kind of hairline. Or I could make her look like that or somewhere in the middle or somewhere, somewhere down here or somewhere up here. Either way, I have kept her to be around about here in terms of the face blend. Uh, just a little bit. It's as far as I can tell, it should mean that I am closer to this face than I am to this face. So what I've so I think that's the idea that I seem to have elements of this face, but it is mostly to do with it's mostly closer to this face. Uh, and then skin color, it's which one is it? Skin color, I actually can't tell which skin color I am. I think it's this one. So that's the skin color that I think I'm using. Um, the sort of uh, sort of more closer to I think my skin color. Even though I am Chinese, people would always people would often racially suggest that I am yellow. Well, they don't say it to me, obviously. But I mean, like my skin color seems to be pretty average. So I kind of go with this one. Uh, lip color is just a pink. Uh, the pink from the uh, classic saturated palette. So that one is a palette that you have to buy with plat. I don't think they've ever given that out for free or any or anything like that. I've not gone for red because I seemed a bit too deep. I've not gone for this pink because I seem too shallow. Uh, this pink seems to work for me. I have thought about going for green lips, but that looked a little bit too weird. I've thought about blue lips, but that also looked a bit too weird. Uh, gold lips didn't seem to really work for me either. White, black lips, yeah, like. Mm, not really my kind of style. I think I'll just stick to uh, something that looks realistic. Uh, hot pink lips could work if you if you want to go that way. Obviously, this is just how I've managed to make my operator look like this. And uh, accent color uh, is mostly uh, eye eyeshadow, eye makeup right here, mascara. I think it is. Uh, I've just gone with green because why the hell not? Uh, yeah. Alright, in terms of hairstyle, this one should be pretty simple. It's this particular hairstyle right here. It's the bun that still seems to make my operator look like a girl, so that's good. Uh, I I don't, like, I myself don't particularly like these kind of bold looks with a little bit of spider hair going on here. Uh, so I've not really gone for that. I don't particularly like something like this either. I don't like, like, it's just this area here that I'm not particularly a fan of. I mean, this part is nice. Um, yeah, but that's really like my, the logic behind going for something like this. If, if you look at some of my really, really old videos, you may have noticed that I used to rock uh, this particular hairstyle uh, on, on my operator. Uh, that was, I think that that's a free one that you get right off the bat. So that was uh, like right at the start when, uh, when I finished the second dream. That's when I started using this particular hairstyle. And then later I actually bought this hairstyle and I like this one a lot more than, I, than uh, that old one. Hair color is something from the Valentine sec uh, the Valentine um, palette, which I think is one credit during Valentine's Day. Like so during around around that time, Valentine's Day is basically one of the browns. I think you can, you might be able to get something similar from the saturated palette. Um, uh, 
similar-ish. It's a, it's a, it's obviously a, diff, a slightly different shade. You might be able to get it with the regular classic palette, actually. Um, anyway, you can have fun trying to mix and match with that. Hair highlight, I've stuck to just um, the uh, black from the saturated palette. Uh, I don't, I mean, like highlights. Highlights are a little bit weird. I'm not. I don't, I don't feel like they look that great for me. Um, but yeah, that's how I've got. Oh, actually, that looks pretty dope. But I've 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 stuck to uh, black highlights. Don't really want my hair to be all fiery or anything. Hair part doesn't. Oh yeah, hair part for this particular hairstyle seems to cause it to shine or not shine or I don't know. Anyway, I've I've left hair part as ticked. Uh, in terms of marking, this is the Somatics Dev 64, which is I th no, which is these uh, little bits and pieces that you see above my eyes and on my chin. Um, primary color is the saturated palette, um, blue. Secondary color is the saturated palette, middle green. Metallic color is the gold uh, in the saturated palette. I'm 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 a big fan of the saturated palette. I don't really like the classic regular palette. I find those colors to be too washed out. So you'll find that even um, most of my Warframe fashion framing is uh, saturated palette, except for like a handful of purples, I think. Anyway, moving on. Uh, my eyes, uh, saturated palette green, is the uh, inner eye color. Outer eye color is saturated palette um, teal cyan. Not the light cyan though, because that doesn't it's the slightly darker one and eye glow is bright green in the saturated palette and of course eye glow for for those who like sometimes when you look when you look at that like it, it kind of looks like eye glow doesn't mean anything but when you step into the darkness that's what eye glow does your eyes are actually like properly green so there is a way of like going full hey kiddo if you make your eyes uh if you make your eye glow um black for example you um you basically go hey kiddo so when we uh, run into the darkness, hey kiddo, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, you can put or 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 you can go full white. You can go um, white eye glow, and then you'll um, probably get something like that. But I, for one, uh, I did that for a while, and then it got really distracting, so I just stuck to green. So, yeah. Um, the voice I'm going for is the Raven voice. All right, let's get to work. Oh, I thought my wharf. We will bring honor to the Tenno. Okay, I guess her mouth doesn't move anymore. But anyway, I've gone for the Raven voice. I think the other one is. The Lotus is. The Lotus is counting on the us. The other one is Falcon, but I find it to be a bit too uppity. I anyway, hope we're ready for this. Uh, facial. In terms of facial accessories, the um, Sovereign diadem is the one I'm using right now. I don't particularly like any of the other diadems, so I'm just sticking to that one. Uh, the unicorn horn seems pretty dope, but uh, I'll stick to the tiara. Thanks. I'm using Venice earpieces, although they're not really that big of a deal, to be honest. Like these could. Okay, that could, that could work. Um, it basically makes my glasses look like thicker, bigger glasses, I guess. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna get this. Okay, so I'm using the Udu piercings now instead of the um, instead of the uh, ear pe earpieces that I didn't are. Oh. Or the ear piercings or the ear pieces that I didn't really care about. I'm now using oops. I'm now using this thing. So that that basically makes my glasses look like they're actually attached to my face, which that worked out. Uh as you may notice I am using dual oculus uh because this looks a little silly to me. This is a bit too um Nick Fury for my ass. Um so yeah I'll stick to the glasses thanks. Um or I could just not have glasses but she looks cuter with glasses, in my opinion. Uh, primary colors is black, which is just the smoke colors black. I think that's that's something you have to buy in the market. It comes with the uh, What Stalker package. So if you if you're having a really really bad time uh, far farming the Stalker, then uh, you could get that pack, I guess. Uh, and the secondary color is of course the gold from uh, the saturated palette. So that's the face. Let's go into the body, and uh, I'm using the Commodore mask. That is how I am getting the. Um, that's how I'm getting the um, the uh, collar that I really really like. Hood opened, as opposed to hood closed, because that just basically means that there's no need to have a proper looking face. Uh, lining color is actually not gold. Lining color is actually a darker gold because the brighter gold is just a little bit too bright. So I've gone for a bit of a sort of darker, 
sort of gold, I guess. Uh, in different light, it looks better than regular gold. Uh, as per usual, I'm using the Commodore Prime Curious Poultrets and Greaves, so you can just pick those up. Um, I don't think they're available. Oh, hang on. Wait, no, they came with Mirage Prime, I think, so they're no longer available. You can't just buy them out anymore. I'm using Copper of Falls as opposed to Copper of Tassets because I kind of feel like she should be, uh, have some sort of dress kind of thing going on. Of course, that's kind of cool, except, you know, it's just these things right here, which is kind of, ugh. Anyway. Copper folds. You get them by getting the copper set. Uh, primary color is smoke black. Secondary color is uh, classic white. I'm surprised. I'm surprised I didn't go for. Oh no, classic saturated white. Uh, tertiary color is classic saturated dark green. Slightly not 100% dark green. And suit energy is just classic saturated regular green. I'm using the Ostron Community Sigil, that's this thing right here, there's other sigils you can use, obviously Mastery Sigil was pretty cool as well, except I seem to have scaled it incorrectly, but never mind that. I don't know what I've done there. Anyway, rotation is middle, so that it's uh, straight, width is a little bit wider than usual, height is a little bit wider than, height is a little taller than usual, sorry, uh, X offset I think is slightly to the left. Slightly to the left, yeah, slightly to the left, mostly to align with this bit right here, um, so that the top part is sort of in the middle there. Uh, even though that top part, even though that bit is sort of like, sort of leaning towards the side, um, I'm, I'm just gonna like move that here. And Y offset is all the way up to the top, I think, or all the way up to the bottom, yeah, all the way up to the top. And Alpha is 100%, so that it's not transparent in any way, shape, or form. Primary color is saturated green to give that saturated green outline that seems to cause the um actually you know what it seems to cause the thing to uh go onto this shoulder part right here so i might bring it down a little bit yeah i'll bring it down here just so that it doesn't like sort of cut into and do some weird effect on that shoulder bit right there and animation set i'm choosing the vazarin animation set after um a while using the Madurai animation set, just wanted to change it up. That's about it. And in terms of app, this doesn't really have anything to do with uh, operator fashion, but I am using the Gatekeeper's Nuke, which is a uh, Gramu, Kelbrick, and Lauren, which I think makes it a 323 app. Not 100% sure, but the colors that I'm using for my app, which you'll often not really see because it's kind of hard to see the app during combat it's saturated dark green saturated gold as per usual saturated uh, light blue saturated gold and saturated regular green so that's everything yes yeah. so that is my operator fashion as you see right here uh, anyway Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Hope this answers that one guy's question in the Commodore Prime video. And everybody get ready for the sacrifice. When that drops, I'll probably be at work. So the night of the day that it drops, I will definitely be recording, if not streaming, uh, the sacrifice. So we'll see what happens there. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!